Hello and welcome to Tim and Amy's Homestead. Go grab you a chair, let's sit down and have us a little chat. Come on now, don't forget your coffee. Good morning, good morning, good morning. I wanted to pop up here and show you my lap dogs. You know, my bandy scone. And everybody's trying to take his little spot because they know I miss it. And ain't done nothing to this head or nothing. I've just woke up not too long ago. I got Tim off to work. I did manage to get me some coffee in before I cut this thing on. But I just wanted to show you. Let me see if I can lift it up. Look at there. My big lap baby is sitting here. And let me see if I can move this phone without covering things up. Let's see. That's Miss Sadie. She had to get in the seat too. I need a bigger chair. <laughs> well. So, I told you yesterday that Tim hooked up that other battery, and it got some awesome solar charging yesterday. And I was able to run my TV without that thing beeping and saying you got to cut me off because I don't have enough charge so now using those batteries the struggle <laughs> is gonna get real around here with me because I am I'm just so used to I get up at 530 every day and then about six o'clock I cut the TV on and I let that thing play all day long. I mean, yeah, I get up and watch the news. And then it's just noise until 12.30. Then I watch The Young and the Restless. Uh, anyhow, God knows I should have put a hat on before I got up here, y'all. Woo! I got the struggle right now. But anyway, I have got to teach myself now that I am going solar and using these batteries to watch the program I want. Cut that TV off. While it's sunny, let it get its charge. Mm. What do I want to watch next? Cut it on when that particular show comes on and then cut it off when it's done. Stop running the TV. <sighs> okay. 46 years old, and I have got to train myself. Lord have mercy. <laughs> anyway, I can do it. I will do it. So... Well gonna get ready and show you something I had to cut this video off and just had a little excitement so here goes oh my god y'all Sadie got up off of me and wanted to go outside to the bathroom well I, I can't show you because I've got so many pots down here on my porch that you really can't see it but thank the Lord this thing didn't come in my house I would be crapping in my pants ah I am terrified of snakes but I have a snake down here right now and I'm not letting Sadie out she's just gonna have to hold it he's he's where I showed you yesterday where I put my solar lights and he's down on the bottom I hate snakes, but the good thing is, it looks like a black snake. 
it had been a moccasin or something like that, I would really be stroking right now. I called my neighbor because I'm terrified of snakes. She'll kill them. She don't care. I mean, I mean, she's scared of them a little bit too, but... Now I'm freaking out and anything's touching my feet. So, I'm glad he didn't sneak up in this house. Oh my God. Oh, he's scooting like this now. Oh, Lord have mercy. He's a right good size when he looks about the size of a um, yardstick. Pretty dang close to it. Ooh, y'all about to see some panic going on here. Huh? Freaking snake. Oh, God. I've been so worried I was going to have one in my house. Thank the Lord I haven't this year because in the past, I have had a couple come in the back back here because that's kind of like storage. I don't we don't stay in there. Oh, hell, where'd he go? Okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> so, you know, mice attract snakes because that's their meal, and I think that's what they were doing because, you know, we live around all these fields, and you know how mice are. Oh, God. <sighs> okay, I'm going to get off here so I can watch this snake. I will fill you in. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. God. Well, the snake escaped. My neighbor, she come over here and he was scooting off the side. I was like, oh God, that snake's gonna come in my house before she gets here. But thank the Lord. Ah, oh, he went underneath the deck on the ground and evidently he scooted under the trailer because we can't find him or she can't find him. I'm still on the porch. I ain't going on that ground yet. Oh God, such excitement. So anyway, I'll get back in there and talk to you in a minute once I get over this mess. Ah! Okay, so that excitement is over. Thank goodness. Oh, he escaped. That's all that matters. And he'll go eat a mouse somewhere and get the heck off of my porch. Anyhow, so... Not much going on today that I know of. Tim got home safely yesterday. Um, that storm we had, we did have some thunder boomers around here, and it poured down rain after I got through with that video. And he called, and he said, What's that weather like? And I told him, I said, If you need me to pick you up, I will. But it went on ahead and left by the time he got off of work. So he got home safely. Anyway, y'all, I have run my mouth enough. I got to get busy doing something up in here. Y'all have a wonderful Wednesday. And I will see you tomorrow. Y'all be careful out there in this world. Stay safe. Bye now.